guys, and thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Irene Walsh, I'm CDO here at 3D for Medical, and welcome to our HQ in Dublin, Ireland. We're super excited to have you along today to share with you our brand new product, which is going to blow your mind. It focuses on an organ that we all need to take care of, and which has always been a focus in healthcare, and never more so now than now when the global health is growing and developing in, in new nations. So, it gives me great pleasure with that, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce to you Complete Heart. Explore and interact with the most detailed and visually arresting 3D beating heart ever developed. The innovative ECG feature allows you to control the heart's movements and adjust the beats per minute. Correspond the movements of the heart with the variations on the graph. Simply swipe down to use the feature in slider mode. Take the scalpel to dissect the heart in any location, in any direction, to reveal its inner workings even while beating. Illustrate how a tumor or other abnormality has developed on the heart using the growth tool. Apply to any structure and watch it seamlessly match the movements of the heart while beating. The comprehensive video library includes animations ranging from abnormal rhythms to coronary artery diseases and the key procedures performed to treat them. Check out this snippet showing how a heart attack is caused. Get a life-size view of the heart with AR mode. Examine its size relative to familiar items in your environment. Download Complete Heart today for your free three-day trial and experience the human heart like never before. As always, our video team doing a great job putting that together, so thanks very much, guys. So what does Complete Heart do and how can it help me? I know just the people to answer those questions for you. And I'm going to hand over to my very capable colleagues, Sophie Madden and Adele Lynch, to give you an overview of the app and also to discuss any questions or comments that you might have. So enjoy the Q&A, guys. Over to you. Hi, everyone, and thanks very much for your introduction, Irene. So today we'll be taking a different approach and I'll be asking our product specialist, Sophie, some of your questions that you've asked us on social media or via email. This will give you a good idea of what the app is and how you can use it in everyday life. So Sophie, Complete Heart is an amazing app and I've been anticipating its release ever since you started working on the project. But for our viewers who have been following our products, what do you think makes Complete Heart unique? Well, the main difference would be that it has the heart beating in 3D, while Complete Anatomy is focused on the gross anatomy of the entire human body. With Complete Heart, we've taken a focus on cardiovascular anatomy, physiology, and clinical correlates. So it's kind of a go-to resource for students to do this blended learning approach. So we've seen this growing trend in universities where they no longer teach anatomy, physiology, and clinical medicine in isolation, but it's sought all together. So that's kind of what inspired the idea behind the app. And um, is there anything else unique about the app that makes it very powerful? Yeah, so we actually have a video library as well, which contains over 60 animations. So they were created by cardiology experts and our in-house medical team, and they cover conditions and treatments to do with the heart. Okay, I think students will find this so helpful. And I think it's interesting to see these trends in education. So you have an app here that includes anatomy, physiology, and clinical medicine all in one place. So now I think we should get to the fun part of the app, and you can show the viewers here what Complete Heart looks like. So yeah, here we have the beating heart and you can see that I can interact with it and rotate it and the detail is still amazing even when I zoom in and out. Along the bottom here you have the ECG bar. So we've actually given the users the ability to control this so I'm just going to drag my finger along the ECG bar and you'll see that the heart is actually moving. So I can control which stage of the ECG is represented on the model. We also have the beats per minute here along the bottom. So okay. what we can do here is actually increase or decrease that to replicate an arrhythmia. So let's okay. bring it right up to 120 beats per minute. And you can see the heart is moving really fast and this is replicative of tachycardia. Okay. Or we could bring it right down to say 40 beats per minute, which would replicate uh, bradycardia. So you can see the heart now has slowed down completely. Yes. And just out of interest, what is the normal beats per minute or heart rate of like a healthy individual? So yeah, it can actually range quite a bit. It can go from 60 to 100 beats per minute, but the average would be around 70. Okay, that's very cool. 
So I know with complete anatomy you're able to interact with the different structures, but are you able to interact the same with the beating heart? Yeah, you are. So you can select any structure within the app and you'll get information on it. You also have the same view options that are in complete anatomy. So you can choose to fade or hide the structure. And now with that hidden, we can see inside the chamber and you can yeah. still select all of the structures inside the heart as well. That is really cool. Just how did you manage to replicate this level of detail on a beating heart like this? Yeah, we actually put a lot of time and effort into this. So each individual piece of the heart is animated so that they all work simultaneously to show the beating heart together. Okay. Um, and actually we have a cool feature that shows this off. So in our newest release today, version 1.1, we have the explode tool. So if I just select the heart here, you can actually explode it. And now you can okay, see each yes. piece of the heart and how it's, at, how it's moving. And then when we put it back together, how they all combine to show this accurate beating heart. That is really cool. So you just see the level of detail that's gone in. Um, so we've had a question um, from Megan who loves using the cut tool in complete anatomy where she's able to cut through different bones and muscles. Mm -hmm. But are you able to cut through a beating, moving heart? Yeah, you are. And that's actually a feature that we think will be really beneficial to the students. So you can virtually dissect through the model and being able to do this while still seeing the heart function is kind of revolutionary to complete heart because this is, is impossible with the textbook or with standard dissection labs. So you can see now we can see inside the heart while it's beating and we've just dissected it. Okay, so um, that's really amazing. We have also had a few questions of people asking why a new app for the beating heart and will this 3D beating heart ever be brought into complete anatomy? Yeah, so our goal would be to have an app that includes everything a student needs to learn about the human body in one place. And we want as many people as possible to have access to our products. But we need to bear in mind these technological limitations because we have the 3D heart rendered here. And we also have the video library on top of all of the content that already exists yes. in Complete Anatomy. Yes. It's just beyond the capabilities of most devices. So what we decided to do instead was create a separate app called Complete Heart to make it available to as many users as possible. That's really cool. And don't worry, Complete Anatomy users, we are still enhancing Complete Anatomy with many other features. For example, we'll have the female model coming soon, mini models such as the ear or the alveola in the lungs, and many more courses as well being brought into Complete Anatomy. And down the line, we'd also love to have the beating art brought into Complete Anatomy. We just need to wait until technology advances. Okay, so... Um, I also know that you've used a few systems here that are from Complete Anatomy that are relevant to the heart. Can you show some of our viewers those systems? Sure, so I'll just clear this cut. So along the bottom you'll see the systems menu just like in Complete Anatomy. Within the heart system itself we've added the pericardium. And then we also chose to include systems that are related to the heart. So for example we can turn on the thoracic cage. And we've also added the lungs and the diaphragm. So you can study the heart in relation to these structures. We've also added in the arteries and the veins. So I'll just turn these on. And we've added in the nerves involved in cardiac conduction. So you can see now when I zoom in that these nerves and all the vessels actually move in sync with the beating heart. So it just adds to the realism of it. Yeah. And not only can you study the heart now, but you can also study the entire cardiovascular system. Yeah. I'm just going to zoom in here. That's just amazing to see the level of detail, how you have all those systems moving in sync. Thanks for showing us that. So um, let's think of a use case scenario. So if a student is using this app, um, can you give examples of how they would use the app to better um, their experiences studying uh, the heart? Sure, so I think there's actually loads of ways that a student could benefit from this app, even just exploring the beating heart and seeing, being able to interact with it, you know, that will really enhance their understanding of the anatomy. But we also have the library here, which I think will be kind of one of the most beneficial tools to the students. Within the library, we have a course, so it's Introduction to Anatomy of the Heart. And then we also have screens, recordings and quizzes that cover anatomy, physiology and clinical topics. Okay, yeah, that's amazing. So here you can see how you're bringing in anatomy, physiology and clinical all into this one app. And we've seen plenty of anatomy screens in Complete Anatomy. Um, could I ask you to show us an example of one physiology screen? Sure, so the physiology resources are designed to give a greater understanding of how the heart functions in relation to the rest of the body. So for example, with this screen, this is showing blood flow through the heart and we're following deoxygenated blood. 
you'll see in the screen that we've actually included the beating heart and we've used a 3D pen which moves with the beating heart. So this is showing the flow of blood. Each screen also comes with text which will explain what's shown in the screen a bit more and some snippets of videos from our video library. Okay. That's so well. so useful. Yeah, it's really useful. So we also have um, the mini model included here. So this is the first app that we've added a mini model to, but we do plan to add it to Complete Anatomy as well. So here we have a mini model of the blood vessels, and you'll see that we're using it in this screen to compare the anatomy of an artery and a vein. That's really good. Can I interact with that and it can just be rotated as well? Yeah, so just like the heart model, you can interact with it and select all of the structures and manipulate it as well. Okay, amazing. Um, so I think a lot of people would be interested in learning more about their health and understanding what happens when something goes wrong. So would one of your clinical screens cover those kind of conditions? Yeah, exactly. That's what the clinical screens are for. So they cover all of the common conditions and treatments in the heart. Okay. So let's open one, say, atrial septal defect. So if you've ever heard the term a hole in your heart, yeah, they may be good. referring to an atrial septal defect. Okay. So you'll see on the model here, we've shown a hole going through the atrial septum. And what happens here is that this is a congenital defect, so it's one that you would have at birth. You'll see that we have additional text here, and then we've also taken snippets from the video library. Okay. So this video will demonstrate that this hole allows the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood to mix, which we don't want. So it's just showing off what happens during this condition and giving you a good overview yeah. of it so you can learn yeah. from it. And just to clarify, all of these assets are available to people when they get complete heart? Exactly, yeah. All okay. of these come with the app. Okay. And um, are students your main target audience here, or do you see this app being used in a clinical setting? Yeah, absolutely. So we see it being used quite a bit for patient education. So yeah. we actually had an app called Heart Pro a few years ago yeah. that's still widely used by doctors and just by people who want to learn more about the heart. So what we decided to do was, because we have this higher standard of visuals, the new model, and we just decided we were going to kind of take the concept of Heart Pro, but make a new app because students have always been our main target yes, market yeah. so we kind of combined what we had there with this academic aspect so now the app can be used by either students or doctors okay yes and do you have an example of how a doctor might use this app yeah absolutely so we'll just clear away some of the stuff from this screen and let's imagine that a doctor is with a patient mm -hmm. and they want to explain say aortic stenosis okay <laughs> what is aortic stenosis so it's a condition where you get these calcified growths that build up on the valve. So let me show you how we could use the app to demonstrate okay. that. So first of all, we want to get a nice view of the valve. So we'll just hide a few structures here. And then we'll zoom into the valve. And one of the tools that I haven't shown you yet is the growth tool, but we see this being mm -hmm. really useful in a doctor-patient scenario. So what they can do is press on the growths. Here you can control the size and the color of the particle. So just make it small. And then what I can do is just drag along the model and now you'll see these calcified growths mm -hmm. that I was talking to you about will appear. And then when I'm done, so now I've actually replicated the patient's condition okay, on the yes. model. So this will really engage them and help them understand their condition. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we think will be really useful for this patient education aspect of the app is the video library. So mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, we have over 60 animations and they range from abnormal rhythms to complications following heart attack or coronary artery disease. So let me show you one, maybe an abnormal rhythm. Let's play ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation is an irregular fluttering with one or both of the ventricles, the large lower chambers of the heart. Disruption of the normal electrical rhythm prevents proper coordinated contraction of the muscles, which can lead to immediate heart failure as the ventricles lose their ability to pump blood. Okay, so with each animation as well, there's actually a link to the screen. So if I press the bottom left-hand corner, we'll be brought back to a clinical screen, and this will have information on the ventricular septal. Oh, this one is ventricular fibrillation. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll still have all of the text and the videos so this can be used in doctor-patient scenario, but this is also really helpful for students when they're yes. learning about conditions. Yeah. Oh God, I'd love to have this when I was studying. Um, so I think um, I also want to ask you, do you have any updates in mind for the complete heart? Yeah, we do. So we actually have loads of exciting things coming up, but what we'd really love is to hear from the users. Like if you guys have any feedback on features that you'd like to see added in the future, please let us know. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, we did release a new update today, so version 1.1, and this includes the explode tool, which we saw, 
You can also pop yes. between, and we have this origin path feature where you can trace nerve and origin, okay, nerve and yeah. arteries origin. Yeah, so yeah, I'm familiar with we it. have a little video just to show you guys more about those features. Explore and interact with the most detailed and visually arresting 3D beating heart ever developed. The innovative ECG feature allows you to control the heart's movements and adjust the beats per minute. Correspond the movements of the heart with the variations on the graph. Simply swipe down to use the feature in slider mode. Take the scalpel to dissect the heart in any location, in any direction, to reveal its inner workings even while beating. Illustrate how a tumor or other abnormality has developed on the heart using the growth tool. Apply to any structure and watch it seamlessly match the movements of the heart while beating. The comprehensive video library includes animations ranging from abnormal rhythms to coronary artery diseases and the key procedures performed to treat them. Check out this snippet showing how a heart attack is caused. Get a life-size view of the heart with AR mode. Examine its size relative to familiar items in your environment. Download Complete Heart today for your free 3-day trial and experience the human heart like never before. Okay, so now I'd like to see, go to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel to see what live questions we have from you. So we have a question from Oliver. Why does the origin path function uh, not work for the venous system? And a very good, that's a very good question. We just haven't uh, created it yet. We actually, instead of having an origin path for the venous system, we'd like to develop maybe a branches. So instead of seeing the branch back up to the heart, we'd like to see where the vein can, um, has its uh, tributaries into the extremities. Um, so, Definitely love the feedback and we're going to uh, consider this for the future. So thanks very much for your question, Oliver. I have a question here again. Have you guys ever considered a type of blood flow representation? Perhaps particles moving through the heart as a beat, something students could see visually. I think that's a question for you, Sophie. Yeah, so a lot of our animations actually do show these particles moving through the heart, like I showed in the screen and we did consider that but it's something that would be in the pipeline for actually including in the beating heart itself uh, so something to add in but if you want to see particle flow we have that all in the video library okay so i have another question it would be great if they created an entire model of body physiology totally mm -hmm. agree in real time vor and with capillary microstructures and real digital micro detailing blood flow that's from e xr um, and it was in Spanish, so thanks very much for translating. Um, so absolutely, uh, that 100% is where we'd like to go down the line. Um, and we are expanding, it just takes small little steps. So we have, we're branching into physiology now with the heart, and then we'd like to do that with more organs and systems. And down the line, we'd love to have physiology for the entire body and these kind of details and 3D models where you can visualize physiology right in front of you. So thanks very much for that question. Okay, and I'm just gonna check our Facebook page. Okay. Can't believe I'm struggling to work Facebook. <laughs> I think that might be all for the questions so far anyway. Okay, yes. I, th I think that's all the questions that we have. Okay, um, but don't forget to check out our website if you, have, uh, if you want to check out more information. And you can follow us on social media to see what our next updates are. We actually have a very exciting update going to be announced next month. So you can stay tuned to our social media pages to find out what that is. So I think that's all from us, but thanks very much for watching. Thanks guys.